Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing to check out the Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion, this time with our first match revisiting our Jade Druid deck. I've made some substitutions, uh, m mixed in some Marks of the Wild, as well as a pair of mind control devices for a little bit more comeback potential, and it's playing even better than before. Let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can get our first win. Malfurion versus Rexar. Accidental screenshot. Again. Nice. Okay, so we got a Hunter. Um, <laughs> like, the worst matchup for this deck. Hopefully we get a little bit of early game control here, because we're going to need it. Oh, that's a rough hand. Well, actually, it's not too bad. The double wild growth into Nourish should get us there. It's just nerve-wracking. I think we'll be okay, actually, though, with Ultimate Infestation. As long as we can survive, since we have no control in the hand whatsoever, um, I think we'll be okay. Plus, we're going second. Oh, that's actually... Never mind. We'll be fine. Alright, so we'll be at three mana next turn. We can Jade Blossom. Then we'll be at four mana and we can Wild Growth Hero Power. No, wait. Then we'll be at five mana and we can just go straight into Nourish. So never mind. And then we'll Wild Growth later if necessary. That was also a really weak open by him, which is great for us. Alright. Next turn we Nourish and we're going for the mana because we have an Ultimate Infestation in our hand. Actually, holy crap, we can Nourish and Wild Growth in the same turn. Because you gain full filled mana crystals. That's awesome. Now, is this guy... Oh my goodness. You gotta attack me, dude. Oh, buddy. What are you doing? Whatever. Can't play his game for him. So much ramp, it's ridiculous. And then we drew a Spreading Plague, too. Which is a great... Uh, card against hunters since they tend to not have really really high attack minions I'm down yeah I say that watch him give it plus three attack or plus four attack whatever it is now we're good man he played both crawlers and we haven't got pirates that's great we're sitting pretty well here um, Jade idol is not bad we're at nine mana now so we can pretty much do whatever we want I think I might just spreading plague I mean yeah, I think we're just spreading plague here. And then Jade Idol. And we'll just hero power for good measure. Not gonna bother attacking his minions though. Since we can't remove any of them. For the wilds. Got him. Alright. I think we're gonna be okay. Ideally, next turn we draw a Mark of the Lotus, but we'll see. He can only take out one of the <laughs> taunts, so we've got some time now. So good for us. Nah, just a Jade Behemoth, also really excellent. I could ultimate Infestation here, but he's presenting no good targets, so we'll just go for another big old taunt and more Jade Ramp. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh. I gotta lose a minion before I play anymore. Uh, uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I could remove his 4 3 actually just outright here. Um, and he would not be able to hit face after that still, so we're going to. And that'll make a little bit of room for Jade Spirit and another Golem. There we go. This 1 5 can remove his 3 1. What does this give him? Two one ones? Eh. I don't care. I'm not giving him haste, so. Especially now that I have a one one. I don't want to give him any favorable trades. Slightly wonder if it would have been better to go even more face that turn, but I'll, the only minions that could attack were one one or one five, so not really. The Starker Rex are not very strong here. Only removing two minions. It's okay. I mean, I did have a full board, so there's that, but he still can't clear all my taunts. Fortunately, we are left with no good targets for our ultimate infestation, so we're just going to hit him in the face with it. Give me them cards. We got some okay stuff. Actually, not the best ultimate infestation draw there, but we'll survive. Uh, we're gonna take this away from him. And... Hmm. 
dare I? I dare. We're gonna take away four of the damage we could have dealt this turn so that he can't remove my 3-1 next turn without playing something with charge. Alright, that's pretty good actually. I'm a little worried because now he's got his hero power coming up, but... Ha! Still nothing with charge, we're good. And we have momentum in hand now. Oh, nice. If we get a mind control device, we can use it now. Not that there's any particularly awesome targets. Hey, mind control tech. Speak of the devil. Uh, nothing in here that's going to draw us anything, and we can play pretty much whatever we want. So, I'm going to start out with a mind control tech and hope we get Liak. Ah, typical. Uh, then, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see... Jade Blossom is decent. Wrath is probably even better. I think... Hmm. How do I want to do this? Yeah, we'll Wrath the 2-1 uh, here so we can get a card. Hey, Aya. Thanks for joining us. Uh, then we have Mark of the Lotus, which is actually really strong in this situation. I kind of want to... Yeah, I want to do this. We're gonna mark the Lotus after dropping uh, Jade Blossom, or even better yet, a Meyer Keeper. Come on, Internet, don't fail me. Okay, the other guy already attacked. We're good. Just barely made it. <laughs> the skin of my teeth. And there it is! First win with the improved Jade Druid deck. Definitely a lot of fun to play. Gotta love having that added control element to the deck. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time!